What is up, Blissel Bash MTG? I want to start out by uh, Kenneth Winemaster, one of my patrons. We did a pull box and he won this One Piece Awakening. Uh, Awakening in the New Era. Just want to start out by if you go to SI Hobby down below in the description uh, box of this video, you can go to their website, sihobby.com. Use code BASHFAM, B A S H F A M, 10% off. It takes 10% off your entire order. Uh, at the end of checkout, and uh, their pricing already is better than TCG Low, so you're going to save an additional 10% off of that. Um, so really, really good deals there for you. It gives me a commission, helps them out, sell more product. The more product that they sell, it does allow them to get more allocation for newer special sets, stuff like that. So it's a big, giant ripple effect. Also, if you ever do join the live streams and you donate $10, you get your name on the playmat. It's pretty cool. So, um, Also, the Facebook group, Patreon, Discord, TikTok, all of that is also down below. So be sure you smash that like button, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell notification because all of that stuff helps support the channel so much. And if you do hit the bell notification, um, we do tons and tons of giveaways live over... Uh, we try to go live at least once a week, maybe twice depending on work, like right now I'm getting forced three days this week, so I'm not doing nothing. Uh, so right now we're really looking for the Manga Luffy, the Oda Signature, uh, this anniversary hit right there. Or I'm sorry, not anniversary. This is the SECs. You usually get four in a case. Um, so a case is 12 boxes. So getting one out of just a random wild box is pretty rare. That's a $40, $45 card right off the rip for you, <laughs> Kenneth. That's dope. And I believe the manga takes up an SEC spot. So, like, in order to really track the case, you would have to literally ha uh, open the whole thing. So, when you're buying single boxes, it's really hard to kind of tell where you're at. Like, if you were to get a case... Um, Open the case, you'll you're you'll know you're gonna get a certain amount of like leaders, alternate arts, etc. You know what I mean? SECs and anniversary cards. So uh, it's hard to tell what we've got going on. Like here's a leader. This is uh one of the what they call them, the common leaders. Um one of the better ones, the monkey D Lu Monkey D Luffy common leader is one of the better ones. And then you can get the monkey, the Luffy uh, foil leader. That one's like 60 bucks. Enel is pretty expensive. <clears throat> We're going to just kind of go over the main hits. A lot of this set is, you know, a lot of these packs are bulk city. Hey, yo. This is the alternate art Pika. That's actually fire. And uh, to be honest with you, <laughs> this is starting to be a pretty damn good uh, just regular box. Holy crap. Alternate art Pika. That's a nice hit, dude. Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, definitely the product one piece is exploding right now. Um, I saw some videos of like manga prizes dumping. Da, 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 at, mm, no, not for uh, awakening in the new era. The manga Luffy is worth like Three twenty five hundred to three thousand dollars raw. A BGS regular ten is like fifty five hundred to seven thousand. I think the last one that sold was uh, fifty five, fifty six hundred. A Beckett Black Label ten Manga Luffy is like fifteen thousand. <laughs> Something crazy. Um, and then the Oda Signature Raw is like anywhere from 900 to 1300 And then a BGS is worth, a BGS 10 is worth around 2100 to 2300 A black label is worth around five grand. And then you got the uh, Eustace Kid, Trifogar Law, or whatever, however you pronounce his name, Law. Those are two other mangas that are worth a lot of money. So... Three mangas in this set that you can get, and then the Oda Signature Luffy, which all of them are insane value for sure. So we're going to see if we can pull one of those tonight.
Then you got your alternate arts. I believe the alternate or uh, uh, the alternate art SP Nami is like the most expensive one. And if you get a black label of her, it's like over a grand. That's <laughs> stupid, dude. All right, so we got a Rob Lucci. These are just regular SRs, the secret rares, if you will, of the booster boxes. And then if you see a green card on the back, it is a Dawn, like a white green card in the back. And those usually go for like a buck a piece. Yo, Rebecca, regular SR, but the artwork on that. Is this an alternate art, Rebecca? No way. Bro, wait a minute. I think this is, this is an alternate art, dude. Wait, what? Because you see the star above the SR? That's telling me that's an alternate art. What is this box right now? Holy crap, dude. Alternate art, like, those are hard to hit. They're not, like, casually. Yo, this is a fire box, actually, right now. Wow. Um, okay, let's see what else we got in here. Something feels lucky about this box. Okay, ulti, or ulti, just a regular SR. Still pretty insane. <laughs> I mean, dude, this is a cannon. You got a really, oh, see, there's a Don. There's a Don. There's a Donnie and a leader card. Soro and the Donskis. So there, those are used for play. They're usually worth about a buck. Um, leaders, they're the common leaders. You don't see these ones in Japanese packs, the common leader ones anyways. So Japanese packs are like half the cards, but also there's another leader, my goodness. Like 40% uh, less in price. But it is harder to hit anything out of Japanese than it is in English, like manga and Oda Signature wise. Um, but I do believe the English of the mangas are more sought after. As far as the Oda Signature, it's a it's a toss up right now, um, just because it's harder to hit. I think people like collecting the Oda more. In Japanese for the collector aspect of it. Sabo SR. So it's tough to say. I don't know. Here we go. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Nico Robin. Thought that was a oh, there we go. Koala SR. Manchiri. Apparently, if you get a uh alternate art Manchiri in a case. They like to say that that case should have a manga or an Oda signature. That's like a, a legend, if you will. <laughs> I don't know how accurate that is, but there's the regular Pika SR. You know how, and then I think I, nope. You know how uh, I said this is the alternate art? Because it is. That's the alternate art Pika, worth some money. Regular SR Pika, not worth much money. This is an alternate art Rebecca. I actually think a black label that is expensive, dude. Oh, I think so, now that I mention it. Of course, any black label is going to be crazy. But I think like a BGS 10 or a black label that Rebecca alternate art is worth some money for sure. So I've just been slowly starting to get into this. Um, and I am like in love with the artwork of this set. I'm in love with like the collectability of this set and how expensive some of these cards are. Like I like how people want to grade the big hits out of here and collect them. Whereas like when you're playing Magic the Gathering, you don't really want to grade Magic cards. Um, another command or leader, leader there. You know what I mean? Like, I don't grade magic cards, honestly. I don't grade them. Let's see if we can end on another big banger hit so far. See, here's the regular Rebecca. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. Two alternates in one box is unheard of. That's actually crazy. 
I don't know off the top of my head the price of an alternate art Rebecca. I for forgot about her, honestly. Oh, there's another foily boy in the back there. Let's see what kind of goodness we got back there. Wait a minute. Okay, it's an ulti. I thought it was a anniversary card for a second. Like, there's no way. Dude, tons of value. Oh, there's a leader card in here. Tons of value in this box, dude. Congrats, Kenneth. This is a W in my book. Sabo. Munchiri. Rare. Two packs left. Good luck, buddy. Two packs and a $3,000 dream. Can we do something crazy in these last two packs? We will never know. Um, nope. Last pack magic. Here we go. There's a Don in the back. Old Donnie. Meh, meh, meh. Not bad, though. There you have it, Kenneth. W uh, polls right here. This is, uh, I want to say, 40, I think 30. And I, I'd have to check, but it's got to be rare. Um, so decent value for sure. Decent handful of SRs, too. Pretty cool. Bunch of leaders. And the Dons. Not a bad box. Thanks, Kenneth. Congrats on the win, buddy. We'll talk to you guys soon. Stay, stay groovy, Bash fam.